Welcome everybody on behalf of the uh, organizing committee for the Center for Nanoscale Science and Technology workshop. Uh, this is our 11th annual workshop. It's been going on long before I've been here. Uh, and I think uh, it started uh, um, by Adi, uh, who is now our uh, provost, and Irfan, and other colleagues at the time getting people together around campus. And it really has served uh, very well over the years to get our campus folks together and then we bring in sort of uh, regional and of course national and international experts uh, also to give talks. So uh, this has been a great, uh, great venue to get people together uh, in the area of nano, nano scale science and technology. So um, I'm going to have a couple of comments afterwards. Um, after uh, our, first, uh, our first speaker, which I'm just going to introduce Mike Bragg. So Mike is our um, interim dean of engineering. I'd like to ask him to come up and make some welcoming remarks. Uh, Mike has been doing this, I think, here for many years also at this, at this meeting. Every, almost every year, I believe, he's been here. And uh, this might also be kind of a goodbye for, I, I guess, because he's actually taken the position of dean of engineering at the University of Washington. So he'll be leaving at the end of summer. Uh, but it's great to, Mike, for all these years, your support. Okay, and thanks, let's welcome Mike for some remarks. OK, thank you. Thanks, Rashid. So uh, as Rashid said, this is the, uh, the 11th uh, annual workshop, so I'd like to welcome you all to this. I was saying before, I think the people who come the farthest are the ones that are here for the opening remarks, right? And the local people will drift in, right, as they find some coffee and get here later this morning. So, so thanks, everyone. Uh, and a lot of you, I know, have traveled a long way to get here, and we appreciate that, doing that. And maybe just tell you a little bit about uh, some of the nano things going on on campus and that, that CNST has been instrumental in. And as Rashid said, I'd like to acknowledge, right, currently our provost, formerly our dean, formerly the director of MMTL, right, we all know as Adi, Ilsanami Adisida, who, who helped start CNST those many years ago, and acknowledge Rashid and Irfan, who've, uh, who've kept all that going and built, continue to build on that, uh, and many of the, the good things that are going on are a result of, of their hard work. Uh, as we all know, the role of nanotechnology uh, is very important, particularly as it contributes to nan um, uh, nano manufacturing and the president's initiatives in advanced manufacturing. And we're well placed here to capitalize on those, uh, much through the efforts, I think, of the NSF funded Nanoscale Chemical Electrical Mechanical Manufacturing Systems Center. It's hard to say all that, so we call it NanoSIMS, and many of the people that are involved in that uh, are here in the audience. I think that's, that's been a great center. And CNST, I think, was one of the things that CNST provided kind of the ecosystem, the organization to, to make those things happen. Uh, recently, uh, led by faculty from Illinois and a multi-university uh, university team, we received a $30 million grant to launch the Systems on Nanoscale Information Fabrics, also hard to say, so we call it Sonic Center, uh, from the Semiconductor Technology and Advanced Research Network. So we're looking forward, that's just getting started, and we're looking forward to, uh, to great things from that as they work on uh, uh, increasing processing power and storage capacity of integrated circuits uh, towards advanced computing. Uh, also this year at CNST, the workshop includes uh, a joint symposium, uh, so we see maybe a few more students than we have in the past with federally funding research centers, first the NSF funded Integrative Graduate Education Research Traineeship on Cellular and Molecular Mechanics. That's really long, I'm not sure, that's just one of the IGERTs that we have. And also the NIH uh, NCI funded Midwest Cancer Nanotechnology Training Center. So those have been great additions, I think, to our portfolio. And you'll see uh, some of that activity around as well. Uh, we were also fortunate uh, recently, I think now since February, to announce the $100 million gift from the Granger Foundation, uh, the Granger Engineering Breakthroughs Initiative. The two initial breakthrough initiatives that we're doing in the College of Engineering, one is bioengineering, the other big data. And certainly nanotechnology connects to both, but particularly the nanobio, uh, I think, activities that we have that a lot of CNST is contributing to. And I'm sure that'll be very prominent in our plans and we're Lots of emails going around. We're doing lots of planning, lots of things working on that, having some more workshops coming up very soon to try to, uh, to really get those kicked off. So I think those are going to be great. Uh, and in conjunction with some partnerships with Mayo, OSF Peoria that are building, uh, UIC College of Medicine Washington, and Carl Clinic here in town that really contribute to the translational efforts in those and other things that we're doing uh, in that space. Uh, academic industry partnerships are happening at lots of different levels. Uh, 
also including the, uh, the Cooperative Research Center that we have at, at Illinois and the Center for Agricultural, Biomedical, Pharmaceutical, Nanotechnology. Uh, so, so many of these nanotechnology things that are happening really grew out of, of CNST many years ago as we started reaching across campus, partnering with other people on campus and other people across the country to make these happen. We're really proud of all those. And this year, as in many past years, there are some high school students involved as well, so we welcome them if any of those are here or when they, uh, when they do uh, come and participate. So then in closing then, on behalf of the campus and the college, I'd also welcome our keynote speakers, Dr. Gang Bao from Georgia Tech, looking forward to what you have to say. Dr. Mark Bauer, uh, welcome Mark, and, and we're looking forward to your contributions. Professor Michael Rao uh, from Caltech, who's uh, apparently traveling but will be here soon, looking forward to what he has. So again, welcome all. We're very happy you're here for the 11th, and hopefully you'll be back for the 12th soon. Thanks very much. All right, thank you, Mike. Um, so let's see, I was just going to, maybe I didn't press the right button here. Yeah, got it. OK, so I just uh, very quickly is going to make a couple of uh, comments uh, via the help of slides. Um, so at Illinois, as many of you know, for those of you who are visiting, we have some great facilities that really we say we go from atoms to systems with MRL and NTL and many of our institutes. You're right here at the NCSA. So we certainly have great facilities where we want to utilize you know, across, across uh, the scale uh, to be able to build these centers that, that, that we've been working on for many years. And, and then uh, CNST is really what we call a virtual collaboratory. That word probably doesn't exist, I think, in the dictionary. But, uh, but the idea, as you can see, to bring people together, uh, it's really uh, kind of cuts across all these centers, all these institutes, and the departments and colleges. I mean, clearly Nano is happening all over campus. So this virtual center kind of brings it together. And there's annual workshops, and then Irfan, and now Kerry, um, uh, really help us uh, kind of you know, um, pull these things together. Um, and just very quickly, so you know, we know MRL, of course, John Rogers is the director of that. There's some great work going on in nano in, in, in MRL and great facilities that I think all of us use. Um, and again, uh, we're actually also putting in a proposal for the NNIN, working with John um, and a national team. Uh, and then MNTL is the other facility, probably the two facilities where you can do most of the nano, per se. Uh, that's myself, of course, with lots of help from John and Dennis and others. Um, and there's different teams in, in both these in both these institutes, in, in addition to uh, really providing core facilities. So MRL and MNTL really provide a lot of the core facilities for nano work. Uh, and then, of course, also in the Beckman Institute, I'll just show that very quickly, there's a lot of nano and molecular electronic nanostructure work in Beckman, along with a lot of the imaging work. Steve Bopart is here. He's leading the campus imaging initiative. Uh, so really, we have a lot of you know, uh, sort of nano facilities and research centers across, across campus, across these institutes. Uh, just very quickly, uh, at this point in time, at least, we have this NSF IUCRC, uh, CAPM. Brian Cunningham is the lead on that. That tries to bring people together with College of ACES. Uh, as Mike mentioned, um, and folks around Nano. Um, then we have this NSF IGERT, uh, that many of the trainees are here, uh, on cell mechanics and nanotechnology. Uh, we have an NIH uh, training center um, on cancer and nanotechnology. Um, there is also a third of this STC, along with her colleagues from Georgia Tech and, uh, and MIT. And actually, Gang Bao was uh, instrumental in getting us the center from the very beginning. He actually wrote the initial proposal, working with Jimmy Shah and Bob Naram and, uh, and Roger Kam. Um, and then uh, Klaus Scholten, of course, leads uh, the NIHP 41 Center. It has been actually renewed already uh, for another X number of years. I think it's been, he has this going on for a long time, a resource for macromolecular modeling. Uh, and then we're just in the last year of the NanoSEMS, which really was a fantastic activity over the last 10 years. Uh, very, very successful. Uh, and now that institute, that center is now sort of uh, remorphing into hopefully an, um, a campus and a, and, a, and a larger institute in nanomanufacturing. So Bill King is leading that and moving that forward. Uh, which also gives us a lot of opportunities for upcoming calls that are, that are, that are actually already out. There's a nanosystems ERC call that's already out. Um, and there's other, other opportunities. And then in the past, we also had the NSF STC in water um, that has finished already. Again, Mark Shannon, you know, the late Mark Shannon ran that extremely successfully over the years with help from Lizanne and many others. 
And then also Eric Jacobson had this one NDC, um, uh, the Nano Development Center, which actually went through the first round. Uh, and actually, Professor Gang Bao has a center in the same, um, it's a nanomedicine center also, which he was able to get renewed, and he's the PI of that currently. So there's a lot of other activities, but just wanted to quickly mention many of these things. What's not mentioned here is the Sonic Center that was, uh, that was just mentioned that was just renewed this year, uh, or, or sort of uh, that was just uh, granted this year, sorry. Hopefully, it'll be, it'll be renewed um, um, after its, uh, I guess, five years. Um, but that's a great activity that really brings people together from CSL, Coordinated Science Lab, and MNTL. Um, uh, in the area of nanoelectronics. Uh, all right, and then uh, you're you know, welcome to find this research faculty handbook. Actually, Irfan did a lot of work on pulling together all across campus sort of a database of nano. Uh, so you, you know, we have this, this, this booklet available. Uh, you're welcome to get a copy of that. Uh, and uh, really then at the very end, I just want to um, thank again um, Irfan. Uh, Laura, is Laura here? Laura Miller? She's not here. All right, she'll be coming in shortly. And also Carrie, I think is Carrie here? Okay, maybe we should get them all here so that, uh, so they did a lot of work to pull this workshop together. So really want to thank them, um, Erfan, Laura, and Carrie. I'll mention them again when they're in the room, but Erfan is certainly here. So it takes a lot of effort to pull all of this together and we want to thank them for their hard work. Um, all right, so next, I have the pleasure of introducing our